Hi guys, welcome to this session on Power BI. In this module, I want to show you how you can add conditional formatting to your visuals. I'm going to use this visual where I've got just two columns, a total profit column and a company column or a name column. Now to add conditional formatting, you might think you could just right click here and add conditional formatting from the right click on there. You might think that you could open up the data area and right click on one of these and find conditional formatting in this list but it's not there where you have to go is here in the visualizations area and right click on whatever you've got here in this case total profit and then you will be able to get conditional formatting now you've got a few different options so i'll go through them then i'll undo them one at a time so background color first of all so I'll click on that and you've got minimum and maximum. So the lowest value, I'll change that to a red color. Now the red I want is not there. So you've got more color options here. I want bright red. So I'll click on that. You see it there. You click away. You go to this color. I want this to be green. Again, there's no green there. So I'm going to more colors, picking green. Click on the bit I want. And then clicking away and then that's the color scheme there clicking OK to that and then that should just highlight that now if you want to go back into that to have a look you go back into it you can have a look there you've got this option here to add a mid color and again you can change that one if I go for yellow Quite not a great yellow, but I'll pick that one and then click off and click OK and see if that has an impact. It looks a little bit better, as you can see there. Now I'm going to undo that. Control Z is undo. And then I'll do it again to get rid of it completely so I can do a different one. So now I'm going to do a different one. I'll right click conditional formatting. So you've got font color. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go data bar. Font color is the same as that, really, just changing the font as opposed to the back. But I'm going to go for data bar, clicking on this, and what you've got again is low or high with an option of customizing this. So if I put custom in there, and let's just have a look at these figures. So the highest figure is 29,000. So if I put a custom value in there of 30,000, and a minimum custom value of zero, then it'll apply these colors across there. There's no negative. Um, I'll leave it as that color and then click OK, see what that looks like. That'll put the data bar on, which is OK. You can see progressions like so. Can make that a little bit bigger, some more space. So I'll undo that one. Now, an another one is go back into it again. So right click conditional formatting I'm going to go for if I go to icons let's have a look at that one what you've got here is icons now I've got some rules in here already you can see this has already been set up to rules if you go up there you've got different options rules and you can see that this is set so it's already on percent and the colors are there with these icons so if I change this to number, each of these to number, so it makes a little bit more sense, then the colors will match up. So greater than zero and less than 500, I'll say will be red. So 500. And then this one has to be greater than 500. And I'll do less than 10,000 it's going to be quite a few of them and then this one is going to be greater than 10,000 and less than 30,000 like so these all need change into numbers it's probably going to reset that Now I can click OK, and then I should get that coming in there like so. 
Now I could do that. If I don't do that, I didn't immediately see that option on one of the other options I went and did. So if I go back into the conditional formatting background color, I could, instead of gradient, go to rules there. And then you've got this blank option here. So this is exactly what I had a minute ago, but this time there's just one rule. Change both of those to number for this. So if it's greater than zero and less than 500, I'll just do a couple here. I want that to be red. Let's go for that, whatever color that is. And then you want to add a rule, another rule. So now I go new rule, change that to number. So less than zero, need to change that to just greater than 500. So that's going to be the same as that really, but greater than. And then this one can be less than 30,000. And then you click OK to that. And then that should color it up. So all of that has gone blue. So I need to change that to be a thousand. So if I go back into that, right click, conditional formatting, back color, change that to, I'll go 2000 actually on there, just to make sure it is a different color and then change that to 2000. Click OK to that. There we go. Now we've got some different colors. So that's all I want to show you in this little video, how you can apply conditional formatting similar to what you can do in Excel to your visualizations or your visuals in Power BI. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.